uh, peace of Christ to all uh, this video I believe it's very important actually as all the videos we make but this one is kind of a special in here we will expose uh, the Muslim lies uh, about uh, Israel and we will show you in the same time their ignorance and we have a surprise I have a surprise for this man uh, did that he spent a lot of time by the way learning about the Bible but he learned uh, very false information but it's very clear he never did read his book now let us see the mistake he is saying because if what he is saying in here is true it's mean the Quran is false and I will show you how watch this is how we expose Muslims from their own words I'm prepared to give it to you in other words so I said now the prophecy is I will give unto thee means Abraham and to thy seed after thee I said who is the seed of Abraham she said we the Jews I said, no, 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 you are the seed of Abraham, but are you the only seed? I said, you know, in the book of Genesis, the first book of your Torah, no less than 12 places, Ishmael, that's how they say it. Ishmael is described as the son and seed of Abraham, no less than 12 times. And as for Ishmael, thy son, and as for Ishmael, thy seed, says 12 princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation, because he is thy seed, no less than 12 times. So... You see, sir, you know, you are the seed of Abraham, and the Arabs are also the seed of Abraham. Why can't you both live in peace and harmony as brothers? Ask the Muslims who attack the Jewish first, you ignorant liar. Secondly, ask your God in the Quran. He is the one he ordered the Jew to go and take that land. You do not know your Quran. But before I go there, we need to, uh, uh, to, to inform everybody. That there is even in our churches we hear you know ministers saying that uh, the Muslims are coming from Ishmael the Muslims have nothing to do with Ishmael Muhammad have nothing to do with Ishmael I don't know from where people they are getting this idea Abraham was born in Iraq he speak Aramaic his language is Aramaic his wife is like him Hajar the mother of Ishmael is an Egyptian so the father is an Aramaic the wife or the, the slave, or the, the, the mother of, uh, 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 of Ishmael, is an Egyptian. The son is an Arab. What this have to do with those? Ishmael is not an Arab. The Egyptian are African. The Arab are not the African. You are looking at, the, at Egypt today. This is the occupation of the Arab to Egypt after 1400 years. Egypt never been an Arab country. Their language is different. They speak Egyptian. Coptic There is many kinds of Egyptian they are like there is an ancient one there is a new one the same as Aramaic In the same time in the same time we can go and see that before before the attack of Umar al-Khattab to the land of Israel there was not even one person he is an Arab there just to make it clear so even when the Bible talk about Palestinian, Palestinian are not the Arab. Palestinian have nothing to do with the Arab. The first time the Arab entered the land, it was a win. Umar ibn Khattab, he attacked Jerusalem, he surrounded Jerusalem, and he took it by the sword. Before that, not even one Arab man was born in Jerusalem not even one the same all other countries by the way the same as Syria the same as you know those countries have nothing to do with the Arab the Syria is for the Syrian they speak Aramaic Iraq for the Babylon they speak Aramaic the Arab took over those countries and they make it an Arabic country because they force people to speak Arabic the same as what happened to Egypt and in the top of that not to forget to mention that the Muslims are not and have nothing to do with Ishmael. Let us say, let us say for the sake of argument, the Arab are coming from Ishmael. Who is the Arab? The Arab is only people who they are living in the Arabian Peninsula and Yemen. So the total of them is not even 20 millions. If the Bible is saying that I will make from his nation a great nation, this is, doesn't go for Ishmael because nation of Ishmael is not a great nation. All those people, countries you count today, those are not Arab. They have nothing to do with the Arab. If they speak Arabic, it doesn't mean make them Arab. The Egyptian is an Egyptian. The Moroccan is a Moroccan. The Tunisian is a Tunisian. They are African. 
the same as Assyrian, the same as Lebanese, the same as those are not Arab. So the prophecy in the Bible about a great nation, this is for sure, it's not about those. The only way it's going to go, it is for the Babylon, because the Babylon, they control all the Middle East. They took nations as slaves. They built a huge kingdom. They became a great nation. Their army used to be huge. Nobody can stand in front of them. And the Bible even saying and talking about destroying that kingdom and the kingdom destroyed. So this is all is false talk. Now let us go and show this man that it is in his Quran saying that Allah gave the land to the Jew. I don't blame him because he is the same as his prophet. He is illiterate. Surah 5 verse 20 verse 21 Allah talking to Musa or talking to Muhammad telling about Muhammad remember Musa said to his people oh my people call uh, remembrance of the favor of Allah so what the favor of Allah into you when he produced prophet among you he gave all the prophet from them made you kings see God Allah of Islam is given uh, uh, the God of Islam is giving the, the, the glory to the Jew he made them kings and gave you what he had not give to any among to any other people so when the Jew they say we are a chosen people of God we can find this even in the Quran did you see it because it's not fair the God of Islam suddenly he is taking the side of the Jew and he is giving them what he never gave to anyone so the chosen people it is even in the Quran the Jew they are the chosen people of Allah suddenly as you see he had not given you give given to any other among the people so what he gave to the Jew it was very special because they are the chosen people oh my people this is Allah saying now listen 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 enter the Holy Land which Allah has assigned to you assigned to you actually in Arabic it says kataba which means it's a your destiny to have it it's an order from Allah to take it. And don't ever turn it back. <laughs> don't ever leave that land. This is an order from Allah, a promise, an eternity promise from Allah to the Jew to have the land of Israel forever. This is in your Quran. So when you say, when you say, uh, did that, that the prophecy in the Bible is not about the kids of uh, uh, Abraham as Isaac and Jacob, it is about Ishmael. This is mean your Quran is a lie. Because in here, this is, was for Musa. And Musa, he is not from Ishmael. So you just agreed that your Quran is garbage. And your Quran is full of mistakes, and you approve the Bible to prove a point took you nowhere except showing that you are a fool. So, as you see, guys, uh, this is a very important uh, video proving from the Quran that Allah saying number one point we made that He made the Jew chosen people for Him. And in here you will notice that Muhammad is copying the idea from the Bible. I guarantee you Muhammad do not know what this means. Because he was copying from the man, his name is Waraq ibn Nawfal. This man, he was like a recorder machine. He say what that guy he say to him. And in here, in verse number 21, you will see Allah is saying it clearly. Not only assigned the, the land of Israel to the Jew, no. He is warning them from turning their self away from it ever. And turn not. Don't turn that land ever. Take it. It's yours. If you leave it, you will be a loser. This is in the Quran. 
So I hope this was a good lesson to the Muslims to show them that you know we knew your Quran in and out and you guys all of you bunch of ignorant the same as the one who brought the Quran for you you are illiterate like your prophet and this is why you do not know even what do you have in your book Jesus is Lord and Israel is a promise to have the land of Israel even in the Quran Amen